I'm here in Miami, and this video is about sunlight and vitamin D and what you need to know if you're taking vitamin D supplements and why the sun is your best source. One of the things that's really important as a biohacker is paying attention to your vitamin D levels. There's a couple ways you can get vitamin D. Uh, the old fashioned way is what I'm doing right now, which is standing in the sun. When you get sunlight into your eyes without sunglasses, even without contact lenses, a little bit of ultraviolet light in your eyes is associated with a reduction in nearsightedness. What that means is that sunshine itself can probably help your eyes stay healthy. Inside your eyes, there's something called ocular melanin. Melanin is the stuff that causes you to have a tan, and scientists wondered for years, why is there tanning stuff deep inside our eyes and even in our brain? And in Headstrong, I wrote about new research that shows that melanin is important for biological metabolism, that it actually helps your body to make energy, helps you turn water into oxygen and free electrons to power your body. Who would have thought, right? So getting sunshine in the eyes is one of the most powerful ways to reset your circadian rhythm so you can go to sleep. That's why you'll almost never see me wear sunglasses outdoors, but when I'm indoors under junk light, which doesn't have all these characteristics, you'll actually see me wearing like the true dark glasses, those yellow glasses you see me wearing. Those are to block out the unnatural spectrum that's indoors, but when I'm outdoors, I'm gonna get it the way mother nature thinks I should. Did you know that ultraviolet A and B are actually associated with thicker collagen? What this means is if you get a sunburn, you're in the sun all the time, it's not good for your skin, but if you get no sun on your skin, or you always have sunscreen, you actually have thinner, skin, that's not so good. Vitamin D, when it's low, is associated with all sorts of bad things in your biology. Things like getting cancer because you're lacking vitamin D, things like heart disease and diabetes, pretty much all the bad things happen when your vitamin D levels get low. So what I do is I go out into the sun and I supplement with vitamin D. When you take vitamin D, your body can use it, but to really use it, you have to go through a process called sulfation. And this is what happens when sunlight hits it's your skin and there's vitamin D present. Your skin will make some vitamin D, but if you've taken some, you have even more. The sun transforms it into the active form of vitamin D in the body. And by combining sun exposure with supplementation, or maybe just getting enough sun exposure, you can get your levels up to the level that you're likely to live longer and feel better. The anti-aging positions I've worked with for the past 20 years generally agree that you want your levels on a blood test to be about between 70 and maybe 100. A few people like to go a little higher and those levels seem about right. But here's what you need to know. If you are supplementing with vitamin D, you must take vitamin K2 along with it because vitamin D can change calcium metabolism and vitamin K2 does that as well. If you think about it, vitamin D drives calcium into tissues and vitamin K2 keeps it there. So what you don't wanna do is take vitamin D without vitamin K2, but you can always go out in the sun. You don't wanna get a sunburn, but getting a tan makes you look better, it makes you feel better, and it'll even probably make you live longer. I'm just doing math about sun angle. See, like, if this comes at this angle, this is the angle of apogee and perigee. Perigee. I, <laughs> I know this. <laughs> 